Hello, welcome to Say Yes, Pilates and Beyond, and your mat. Today we'll need a roller. Um, I prefer the soft, but a hard will do. And then just one weight, and I just have a three pound weight. Feel free to use maybe up to five. We're gonna rest it on our pelvis, so you don't want it to be too uncomfortable. And today's work is dedicated to back extension and hip strength. So let's get moving. Turn your roller long ways on your mat and make sure there's space in front of you and then we kind of want to settle below for those of us gals out there under the bra line for uh, dudes maybe middle back yeah so you want to settle into that vertebra and then go ahead and lengthen back now if that feels like oh that's a huge opening go ahead and just roll the roller up slightly and just play with it but if it does feel like oh my gosh that's a lot go up rather than down I'm actually gonna move my back where it was, right below the bra line there. And then take a moment, because it can be a big shoulder opener, just to let the arms open. Now, if that does not feel good, rest your hands on your torso somewhere. Take a breath. Knees are easy, comfortably apart as well. Take another breath. Let that head rest a little bit more on this next breath. And on the next one, feel the weight of your tailbone. We are in an arch and extension here. Ah, excellent. Take your weight, maybe in both hands, maybe like this, and just let it rest on your hips or rest on the hands, the hands on the hips. And then from here, we're gonna imagine a magnetic field between those inner thighs. And then we roll up, right? As much as we can, we try to scoop up through the pelvis, the ribs, we rise up. Again, we try to track the knees. Feel free to go up into a little bit of a back bend in those ribs. And then exhale, try to undulate and roll back down, arching along the way. Exhale, scoop and roll. And this weight just literally gives us a little more work, right? A little more weight. Reach, feel the magnetic fields between the inner thighs. And then exhale, roll back down. Hopefully it feels like a beautiful gooey massage in your spine. In and ex, scooping up. Pressing down through the feet to ascend, inhale. And then exhale from the top back down, descend. And then let the pelvis really fall off the cliff. It's like a waterfall through that lower spine. Let's try that again, twice more please. Inhale and exhale, scoop. Inhale, pressing down to arise, ascend, lift. And then exhale, release. Let's do one more there. We'll pause at the top. Exhale to scoop, roll, massage, and pause. From here, we're gonna tap the hips down and scoop up in more of a direct manner. So we arch and then press down and just lift, scoop. And fold at the hips and then track the knees away. Create space and, and in, and in. In, allow those ribs to open and close, right? They open and then we exhale into them. In and X, three more and down and up and two and up and one and up. Yes, we are getting our pelvic thrust on. Thank you very much. So from here, let's reach the arms up. Good. Now from here, we're gonna do the same thing we just did with our lower body, but now we try to open up the upper body and Close and open and close and yawn and scoop and find that magnetic field between the inner thighs. Press down to lift. Five and four and three and two. Get physical, and one, and let's again rest the weight on the pelvis, easy arms, and now just an inch, we lower and lift, and lift, and and a four, and three, and two, and one more challenge here. Flex the feet, lift the toes, same thing, we drop and lift an inch, and lift an inch, and up, and up, 
and a four, and three, and two, and reach, 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 settle the feet back down, scoop up a little bit taller, and then exhale, let it go. <sighs> oh, I just got a release. Put the weight to the side. Find a comfortable leg position, maybe long legs. I'm gonna try a butterfly because this is a big heart opener, and so it's also connected to our pelvis, yeah? So find the position that is the most open for you, the most comfortable for you, and let's take a few settling breaths here. Just nice and easy, everyday breathing in and out. Lovely, gently roll your way off. And we're gonna continue to roll onto our fronts. Turn the roller this way now. And again, just make sure you have space on your mat. Mm -hmm. And then good. You can splat your head down, make sure that the head can touch the ground. The arms, are, or the roller is under the forearms here. Take a moment just to release into the pelvis. Inhale and exhale. Energize through the fingertips. Inhale, rise up to your swan. Rolling the roller towards you. And then exhale, release down. Just two more there. Wherever your spine tells you to stop, stop. And then release. Keep thinking length, like our spine is an internal spring with tons of space between each coil. Take a moment to plug into the armpits there and release back down. This time, find a, a signet, find a little baby swan. So my ribs are connected, my chest is just a little bit lifted. I'm really in my armpits. And then from here, let's float one leg and the opposite arm up as high as you can. Now sometimes, sometimes here we wanna like eh, do that, right, with our leg. We're gonna anchor that hip point. And reach, thumbs up, and down. And anchor the hip point and pubic bone, reach, and release. And let's take an inhale, and down. And press down to arise, and one more each. And in, and X. Good, feel that glute reach the heel away from the fingers. And find balance for a moment. And then release. One more variation to go. Let's actually bend the knees. Let's open and close. Uncross and cross. Listening, I think that was a motorcycle that just passed. And open and close. This releases that lower back a bit, releases the glutes. And then excellent. One final variation before we get our breather. From here, find that little signet. Good. And let's find the diagonal. From here, we reach around. We try to find that leg. And then we rise up a little bit taller and release. Now, Note, maybe you wanna go grab a band, a strap, something, or maybe we find our pant leg, right? And we find our calf, something there, right? So find what you can, and let's find that opposite diagonal. Rising up, anchoring that pubic bone, those hip bones, we find the diagonal, we sweep around, we catch whatever we can, and then we try to lengthen the leg, it pulls us up a little bit higher and release back to that signet. In, around, and X. In, let's reach back out, release down. Just one more there. And reach, around, and arise. Pressing down, inhale, and then exhale, reach back out and find center, find balance for a moment. Maybe you want to take it back up to your swan and then let it go, release. 
hands under the shoulders, pick yourself up. Thank you so much, Roller, you are amazing. Go ahead and open those knees and just settle back into child's pose, letting it go, returning back to your breath. Excellent.